The cars were showcased in different parts of Uganda to familiarize the public with new designs and encourage youth participation. We are trying to campaign this game because it's new. Today we are here, tomorrow we'll be in another place. Even in northern Uganda we'll be there to promote this game and uh, to, uh, to make our way to the Ugandan is that uh, these cars now we are building it from here a hundred percent. The appropriator engineer Sheikh Mohammed Damba Kanyike explained that it has taken him over five years to design and build the cars to high international standards. He thanked government for its support but also called for additional funding to accelerate production to increase its count from five vehicles. President Yoweri Museveni has over the years encouraged Ugandans, especially the young people, to embrace innovation, use their talents, and develop their skills. Many Ugandans, I don't know how I can face it, but uh, Musei always is the person who is the person who appealed to people to be more on science. So when I listened to him well. I, 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 I decided at least to write a book. You cannot determine Museven good before you trying his ideas. I tried his ideas and I came out with this one. The cars are part of Uganda's first local Formula One style initiative, starting with go kart racing organized by Federation of Motorsport Uganda. Engineer Mohammed aims to collaborate with Federation of Motorsport Uganda to expand the sport and train local talent.